But the only way to stop being lazy is to force yourself to do the things that you hate to do. I can get on here and talk about steps to take and things to change your mindset and blase, blase. But it really comes down to forcing yourself. People look at the woman I am today like, oh, how you wake up so early and go to the gym? Oh, how do you meal prep your food? But literally, I had to force myself. I was one of them people that was waking up at 12 in the evening, getting my day started super, super late, like a loser. Like, And I just didn't want that for me anymore. I wanted to start my more mornings early, to go to the gym, to go on a run and just fuel my body and take care of myself. And the only way I could go from waking up at 1 p.m. in the evening, just lounging around versus becoming a 6 a.m. girly is forcing myself. Instead of setting that alarm clock and when it goes off hitting snooze, I force my brain to immediately get up immediately get up because it's easier said than done but it's literally that easy you can't give your brain enough time to be like oh let's lay down and go to bed you have to force yourself and then you're going to start noticing like oh it's not that bad once you literally get up like literally get up out of the bed and just sit up as soon as that alarm clock goes off stop calling yourself a lazy person you're not you literally just have to change your habits you have to change the things that you normally do and start switching it up and make that your new habit start speaking to yourself like you're already that person okay i, I said i'm gonna start waking up at five in the morning that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start waking up at five in the morning maybe you want to take baby steps maybe you know what i'm gonna start waking up at 7 a.m set that alarm clock for 6 30 and get up don't even set it for 7 a.m 6 30 and just make yourself get up if you want to be a person who does her makeup and keeps her hair did all the time, start making sure that you do that. The girls who always look presentable, the girls who always look put together, when they first started, you don't like to do it. You actually, it's like a chore, but that's the beauty of it. It's all of a journey. You don't go from looking crazy every day to, oh my God, you look so put together it's baby steps some days are harder than others but to go from that person that acts lazy that doesn't put enough care into themselves it's just the habits that you make i now make it a habit to do something to myself every day even if i don't do my makeup i'm gonna make sure that my hair is presentable and i got on something presentable I, I started using the two out of three rule. And most of the time I be trying to go for the three out of three rule. But what that is, is just making sure that two out of the two, two out of the three things are did your hair, your makeup and your outfit. So if my hair is indeed, and I just got like a bun or something, I make sure that I have my makeup on and that my outfit is presentable. If I don't want to wear makeup that day, I make sure that my clothes are presentable and that my hair is really nice. So I just make sure that when I leave out the house that two or three are dead. The only way that I stopped being lazy was I just decided I wasn't going to be that girl anymore. I stopped talking to people about what I wanted to change and just went to changing it. So went to working on it myself because I noticed like if I started having that conversation with people too early, they would pour negative ideas into my brain saying things like oh you'll never do that oh you can't do that girl you've been this way your whole life or something just as far as oh girl good luck I could never you know and those things can literally discourage you because they make you seem like it's re weird that you want to stop doing something that could potentially make you feel better and better you because it will so I stopped telling people, you know what? I want to start eating better. You know what? I want to go to the gym because those people, a lot of times, if they don't do those things, they won't get it. Telling somebody that don't work out, telling somebody that don't work, wake up at 6 a.m., 5 a.m., 8 a.m., that you're going to start doing those things, they're going to give you negative perspectives on it. Like, oh, no, I already have to wake up at 8 o'clock or work. I'm not getting up at 5 o'clock for no reason. It's not for no reason. You get that time to pour into yourself. I even tell the women that I interact with on a day to day, like they feel like they don't have enough time for themselves because they have kids. But even if you're waking up an hour earlier than your kids just to pour into yourself, whether that's reading a book or working out in your room while they're asleep, you need to do that for yourself because you deserve it. 
it's not that you're lazy. It's that you're not making the things that you want to become a habit. The minute you start, you know what? I'm going to make this a habit every day. Or I, if you want to become a gym girly, you know what? I'm going to start going to the gym two to three times a week. Instead of jumping into it six, seven days out of the week, you take those baby steps needed to make something become a habit because eventually you're, it's going to become a habit. I went from waking up at 12 p.m. in the evening to being a 5 a.m., 6 a.m. person, just period. Now people, they hate when they spend the night at my house or I spend the night at their house and I'm the first one up looking like crazy to them. But I get so much done. My life is so more it's so much more put together just by waking up a little bit earlier to pour into myself waking up a little bit more earlier to go and get that gym workout out i don't always feel like going to the gym i don't always want to wake up at five in the morning but but since i started forcing myself to do those things that's just now who i am i naturally wake up at six in the morning my body has become accustomed to waking up at six in the morning if i don't work out my body i feel horrible because i've become adjusted to these things that i once had to force myself to do so it really comes down to how bad do you want it and forcing yourself to do it in the beginning they say it takes 21 days to create a habit i say give yourself at least three months for it really to become a habit and you really love it because with the gym it took me mm, like two months to love it and become a habit with eating healthy it took like three months so it's all just depends on you as a person but but i do want you to just start forcing yourself to do the things that you think that you can't do because you can i want you to start forcing yourself to become the person you think you can't become because you can you want to start walking around your house or your apartment or your neighborhood every day start don't wait until Monday. Only people who are quote unquote lazy wait until the perfect time. There is no perfect time. The perfect time is now. I force myself to start now. Now I don't have that mindset of, you know what? I'm going to wait till Monday. I'm going to wait till the first. I'm going to wait. No, any habit that I want to create or anything that I see that I want to change about myself, I don't wait. Once I decide I want to do that, I don't wait until Monday. I don't wait until the first of the month. I start that next day, if not the same day, depending on the goal. There's no need in waiting. I know you're not lazy. You just need that confidence and you need to know that all you need is you. You and God. I know that you got this. I know you can do it. I meet so many women today and I tell them my story. They didn't believe that that was my story. And I'm not ashamed of it. Because my story is what makes me me. My story is the reason I can get on here and give you just a little bit of piece of advice. Because I've been there. I was that person. I was that girl. You may deal with a little bit of imposter syndrome when it comes to changing your habits or becoming a new person. Because that's essentially what you're doing. But that's okay. You have to push through that. You can become a whole new person and that's okay. I struggle with that to be like, oh. I don't I don't feel like myself. I feel like I'm changing. I feel like this isn't me. But that's the that's the beauty of it. You're no longer that old person. You're no longer that person who eats unhealthy all the time. Who doesn't love themselves enough to pour into what they look like on the day to day, who doesn't care how they carry themselves. You're becoming a new person and that's okay. People will treat you better because of this new person that you've become. And I want you to know that it's okay to start over to become that new identity because you're not lazy you just need to set the systems in place and force yourself to become that girl that you want to be because you're already her if you feel it inside if you clicked on this video you already feel it you already know like you know what i've been wanting to do this so long i've, I've been wanting to wake up early in the morning read my bible and start going to church every sunday i've been wanting to go to the gym and become that girl who works out and looks good and feel good in her body so just force yourself to start doing it and be proud of it but you don't need permission from anyone so take that from me don't ask anyone who doesn't live the current lifestyle that you want to be don't even ask them because they're gonna make it seem like you're doing something weird when no, I just want better for myself. I hope you took something positive from this video. I hope that you start becoming the girl, that woman that you want to be today. Make sure that y'all like my video because it does help my channel. And I'll see you in the next one.